But the other part of this is to make sure that we don't end up with a sudden peak again in the winter, which is even larger, which causes even more problems. So we want to suppress it, not get rid of it completely, which you can't do anyway, not suppress it so we get the second peak, and also allow enough, enough of us who are going to get mild illness to become immune to this, to help with the sort of whole population response, which would protect everybody. Yeah, I mean, that, that herd immunity, I know you talked about yesterday when you were appearing with the Prime Minister. In, in terms of building up a herd immunity within the UK, what, I mean, what sort of percentage of people need to have contracted the virus? Probably about 60% or so. And uh, we think that this virus is likely to be one that comes back year on year, become like a seasonal virus, and communities will become immune to it. And that's going to be an important part of controlling this longer term. 60%? 60% is the sort of figure you need to get herd, herd I mean, immunity. I mean, even with that, even looking at the sort of the best-case scenario, I know we were talking last week and you were saying, you know, half of 1% to 1% fatality in something like this, that's an awful lot of people dying in this country. Well, I mean, of course, we do face the prospect of, of as the Prime Minister said yesterday, of uh, an increasing number of people dying. That is a real prospect. This is a nasty disease. For most people, it's a mild disease. It's important to know we don't know yet, nobody knows, what proportion of people have this who are completely asymptomatic. So the only cases that we've really got at the moment are people who've had symptoms, or largely people who've had symptoms. That means that even estimating exactly what the uh, um, uh, death rate is from this is quite difficult because there may be many more people that haven't been uh, detected yet. And that's why some of the new tests that are being developed now are going to be so important so we can really understand how this disease is spreading.